hello, hello. Uh, I'd like to do a review of Beeswing, uh, a memoir by Richard, Richard Thompson, a British um, singer, songwriter, um, uh, losing he he of Fairpoint Convention uh, as a famous duo with Richard and Linda Thompson, uh, and his his solo stuff. Um, this is Beeswing, Losing My Way and Finding My Voice, uh, 1967 to 1975. So it is a book of uh, relatively kind of like the very start of his uh, career as a, a thing. I think he's only like in his later 20s by the end of this book, I think. Um, he's like 70, he's 71 now. Um, he, yeah, he, he, he first game gained, gained fame, um, well, relative fame, uh, as a, you know, it's funny cause they, uh, I think people talk about like, oh, we've had the biggies, uh, doing like, you know, you get McCartney, you get, uh, you get, uh, you know, um, the big, the big guys, uh, Dylan, uh, Springsteen doing their things. And now you get the kind of the people that are lower down, lower down on the fame, uh, meter, but maybe people who have got equally kind of interesting, interesting stories to tell. And, uh, uh, Thompson's story is interesting to tell. Um, and, uh, comes from, uh, com comes from a guy who seems to be more happy, uh, being in front of a kind of a club of like, you know, maybe perhaps 30 people who, who are really, really into his music that he can just, he can do what he wants to do uh, and doesn't have to pander, doesn't have to pander to the crowd. than somebody who is an arena stock star, who somebody who is a uh, super mega famous, uh, even though um, I think amongst like guitarists, which is, you know, his, his big thing, uh, he's probably fairly, fairly well known. Um, so yeah, this, this is, this is going from his, his kind of his early life all the way up uh, to just just near the kind of the e where the end of his uh, marriage with uh, with uh, Linda Thompson and their kind of final collaboration, which actually really gets a kind of a a quick kind of glancing view at the end. Um, Richard Thompson is um, a taciturn guy. This is not a indiscreet. Um, memoir where he's going to dish all the dirt and tell all the rotten stories and and perhaps be indiscreet with both his own stuff and other people's stuff it's like no you do get the sense that this is a guy who is uh interested in in maybe telling his story uh interested in the musicianship uh in um that that sort of side of things it's very much a musician's uh, kind of thing, even more than a uh, lyricist. Um, he's, 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 he's definitely not somebody who's going to tell you what his songs mean. Uh, I think that would be, an, and, and, and it would be terrible for, for any artist to do that would, that, that would, that would damp, that would be a, an act of self, self sabotage to say, insist on this is what the meaning of a song is. But he really is interested in talking about like, you know, the, the many influences, the many people uh, along the way that he, he learned from. He's, he's very much kind of very generous, uh, in kind of heaping on, uh, praise and thanks to fellow musicians that he came up with or, or, or earlier generations of musicians. Um, but he's not somebody who's really interested in um, uh, getting too deeply into both his own personal life and the, those of those around him. Uh, you know, while, you know, he can, someone like, um, uh, there, there's some people in here who obviously kind of had troubled lives and didn't make it through, didn't make it through the 60s, 70s. Uh, and he's, he's fairly frank and, you know, what, what that was about what happened there, but, uh, he's, he's, he's not really going, one of these people is going to expose other people, uh, or, or himself. Uh, yeah, he had a very, what of incredibly fruitful, a collaboration and, you know, marriage with, uh, with Linda Thompson, but, uh, she, he does not go into the nitty gritty of like, you know, why they broke up or, uh, what sounds like, what has been characterized for the very final album of basically, you know, that it was a tough rec recording that final, that final album. And it was, it was a tour from hell that sort of ended, ended their relationship because they had kids together. They still know each other. Um, you know, there's complaints of that. He is, he is somebody who is there in this, in this memoir, but, and you do get a sense of his very dry wit and his kind of very kind of principled stance on stuff. Uh, but from, you know, outside sources, you know, you know that he maybe wasn't that great of a guy to hang around, that he was, he could be pretty freaking mean. He alludes to kind of heavy drinking, um, 
but you know that he that he was somebody who was you know when they're ta- when he's talking about kind of searching for a way you get the sense of this is this was a very kind of angry young man who was searching searching for a way um a later later things go into here of how he uh he uh ended up um in uh, islam uh sufism specifically um you know which sort of we ease, we kind of ease into, and then we ease out again at the end where he's like, you know, there was upheavals in the uh, British uh, Sufi com- community when he was there. Uh, the people who then came to power were people that he wasn't interested in ha- being with. And so he left that as well. So, um, but it is, it is kept, it is kept, you know, we don't, bogged down on that stuff as much as it's just like you can always tell that he's always kind of he's searching he's kind of he's got this kind of restless restless spirit thing um and it's it's interesting because there's something about this being written by an older man someone who is in his 70s i mean maybe he was late 60s 70s when he was actually writing this down um and it's got a certain kind of a um it lacks maybe a certain amount of the energy of of what probably young Richard Thompson, the anger and the energy of a young Richard Thompson, which you know is something that you uh, you know uh, over the rainbow or other songs you can get that kind of dark, mar- f- further dark, angry kind of energy that comes in his songs. Uh, so this isn't a book that quite you know approaches approaches that kind of that kind of that level. Um, it is maybe more useful as somebody who is a fan. I'd say it's probably more useful as somebody who's a fan of Richard Thompson. For me, Richard Thompson, I got, I, I, it was tuning on to tuning into the CBC and him having a conversation and a little bit of a live, um, live concert with a, uh, uh, um, with just him one-on-one with a host and him playing, uh, Vincent Black Lightning, uh, just acoustically, uh, which just completely blew me away at the time. And that was like in the nineties, I believe. So that was the Richard Thompson I found. And then I kind of backtrack through kind of his earlier, especially kind of Richard and Linda Thompson stuff, Fairport convention, uh, very kind of important as kind of bringing, uh, British folk traditions into folk, trying to actually, uh, establish, uh, kind of the heritage of, um, the British Isles, uh, bringing that folk tradition into folk music because, uh, before that it was very much like, like the rest of the world. It's just, you suck everything in from the folk traditions and the blues traditions, uh, and the country traditions of the United States. Uh, so it was really important that way of kind of, you know, trying to kind of come up with that own, their own, own voice thing, which, uh, is something as a Canadian, I can, I can, uh, I can definitely sympathize with, and I only aspire to myself, uh, not having the long, rich history of, um, of, of, uh, the Brits, which of course, you know, basically white settler in Canada. So, you know, what am I going to do, but probably look, look to the, look to Brits and stuff like that for some of my cultural heritage. Um, but yeah, so, so, um, it's, it's, it's a book where I kind of, I got halfway through and then I kind of put it down for a while cause I didn't know. And then I picked it up and it's like, oh, and then I kept on, I, I it picked up speed for me. And I don't know if that is because we start getting into stuff, uh, where I cared about the music more, um, or if just the story became a little bit more, you could tell that this is, he's picked this era because it is kind of a fulcrum point of him going from being an angry young uh, man looking for that voice, looking also looking for that music. It's like, it's not, it's looking for like the musical voice too, that tone, the thing that he can hear in the head. It's very much musician's biography, um, looking for that and, uh, finding that, finding that, uh, and then, um, exploring that throughout the rest of his career, uh, as a man. I mean, he said that he's decided to focus just on this because it's kind of that law of diminishing returns. You get that high point in someone's life where like, wow, this is where I really figured things out. And then at least for storytelling, you know, purposes of telling an autobiography or a memoir, uh, there can be diminishing return there. And he obviously decided that, um, I don't think he is the kind of guy who's just built that he's ever going to be writing the tell all, um, memoir. Uh, I could see, uh, someone from the outside who is probably digging in and was less, um, uh, less, uh, circumspect, uh, more indiscreet, uh, more purient would come up with a very uh, different and possibly fascinating, uh, biography of the fellow. But I doubt if he would 
particularly co cooperate with that uh, that undertaking, and I can see why. So this is very much you know, on his own terms kind of story about his life at this time. And um, yeah, yeah. So interesting, interesting autobiography, auto me a memoir uh, by Richard Thompson. More videos later. And definitely uh, go on YouTube, uh, check out check out his his music. Uh, Vincent Black Lightning is definitely where I started. Uh, yeah, there's, you can go back to Fairport uh, Fairport Convention, which he was on like the first couple of al albums of. Uh, Shoot out the lights. Um, uh, the her, her, his uh, his stuff with uh, his uh, stuff with um, Richard uh, with Linda Thompson is really really worth going for. Um, yeah, he's 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 had a rich and varied career. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, always, always interesting, always interesting, and not your typical folky, uh, and uh, but also um, somebody who's who's with his odd characters, odd kind of outsider kind of um, you know he's like a less kind of pretentious uh, Tom Waits in in a way, in a way, uh, um, uh, in his own kind of uh, uh, bitter, biting uh, British British way. He's got that sting to them, which I really enjoy uh, in my uh, songwriters. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.